Hello guys, Vizersh here. For today, we're gonna take a look at the Kis uh, Kislev roster reveal. We're gonna talk about uh, their lords, their lords of magic, their heroes, they, their uh, units, and I'm gonna compare them to the most uh, similar unit in the current roster in Warhammer 2. Uh, Total War Warhammer 2. And yeah, let's see uh, what's what's gonna what we're gonna get for the warhammer tree and yeah how it's gonna look like so the first part is not important i'm gonna uh, mainly talk about multiplayer stuff uh for sure uh there are some um single player stuff that uh, is written here i'm gonna mention them but uh, as i'm not a mainly single player uh content creator i, I don't know I'm, I'm not gonna be um really good at analyzing them uh, so a lot of YouT other YouTubers already made, made stuff about this, uh, but I haven't seen them. So yeah, this is going to be my, um, un not unbiased, but un um, <laughs> uh, yeah, this, is my, be, this will be my pure um, idea, ideas about what's going to, uh, what we're going to get and how they're going to uh, look like. So I'm probably going to miss some things and yeah, uh, so yeah, with that, uh, talking about other stuff uh, anymore let's just jump into the units and stuff uh, lords and units so for lords uh, we have zarina katherine uh, she's the poster girl of the total war warhammer 3 uh, ca uh, says that uh, they love uh, what they made for sure she looks awesome but i'm not really um hyped about her i'm not super hyped because i already got my monarch with uh uh, really strong magic powers and stuff i am a dark elf fanboy so i like malekith and yeah but overall uh, she looks uh, fine her um lore lore of magic is really uh, is uh, looks really strong the lore of ice um for mounts <clears throat> uh, you're you're gonna see this a lot um the kislev uh lords and heroes most of them can uh, bring Warhorse and Warbeer, uh, Warbear, not Warbeer. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's uh, not that's not gonna change anything there. But yeah, so uh, she has uh, access to Lore of Ice, a lot of control, a lot of damaging spells. It's gonna be really strong for mu multiplayer. Uh, I think it's gonna be fine for single player as well. But for multiplayer, snares and slow and dark damage uh, are gonna be really great. Uh, and she has two items one of them is her frost fang the other one is her cloak uh, so that's gonna be interesting uh, the sword is gonna get, give her an aoe <clears throat> explosion ability uh, if i'm not mistaken it's gonna uh, frostbite it's gonna do a lot of damage so yes uh, she's gonna be strong the closest thing i can think uh, to her is uh, balthazar guild uh, he has uh, an okay lore of magic he, he has better mount selection but uh i think she's gonna be the uh, closest uh, he's gonna be the closest uh, unit that uh, to uh, katherine so uh for my um favorite uh, um, kislevite um, lord legendary lord we have supreme patriarch consulting who's being uh modeled after uh oh my god did i forget his name uh rasputin so yeah he's i thought he's gonna ha have access to some uh dark spells and dark abilities um magics and stuff not dark lore of dark but yeah uh, some sort of magic but he doesn't but he has um i think uh, the um, um creators uh, said that he's gonna be hard to kill and when he is damaged he's gonna buff his uh, uh, units around him something like righteous ability when he uh, when she has taken damage when she has lost uh, some of her hp she's gonna buff herself and units around her so that's gonna be awesome uh, he has access to warhorse or warbear so nothing new there he has his vent ward uh, orson's ward uh, which is i don't know uh, what is it is that is that the staff i'm not sure that uh makes him um stronger when he has taken damage maybe that's the ability the 
uh, devs were talking about that uh, if he takes damage it's gonna make other units stronger so that's interesting he has access to uh, four um, what's the name of the thing let's just watch here uh, the patriarch has it as well I think he has access to the four abilities of four uh, gods of Kislev Urson's Roar uh, Dars, Song of Winter Sunlight, Thor's Battle Hymn, and uh, Saliak's Lullaby. So uh, he's gonna ac have access to these four abilities, which I think he does, I'm not sure, but he's the he the Supreme Patriarch, so he should have them. So the these four abilities, uh, if I remember correctly, one of them gives uh, battle, uh, battle abilities, it gives melee attack, uh, and probably weapon strength, I'm not sure about weapon strength, but one uh, does that the uh, the lullaby uh, i think heals in uh, units in an aoe which is awesome i wish dark elves um, death hags and uh, other units other um units with the deity connections had pro problems like that but yeah so <laughs> um so one is uh, um weapon strength and melee attack uh, buff so battle buff one is um, healing the lullaby is uh, heals aoe heals, heals unit in an aoe the other one is um, leadership buff and one of them i think was uh, movement but buff i'm not sure so all of them really awesome ability the flexibility on these guys are uh, awesome so i really look forward to playing as uh, consultant i'm gonna play the single player as him i think if i play um, kiss left so yeah that's that uh man of the people i'm not sure about this ab this ability i think this is a single player uh, because um i don't know i'm not sure but uh consultant's uh, fervor means he never lacks uh, faithful loyal warriors to send into battle so for single player uh, it sounds like he can recruit uh, really easily and uh, maybe he he's not gonna run out of cheap uh, infantry to go into battle he might get some units like flagellants and stuff um, or battle pilgrims i'm not sure but for multiplayer i thought this might mean that he can summon units summon uh, some um, units like um, the skavens do with their skaven slaves and plague mines uh, that's gonna be cool too but i don't think he's gonna be able to i think this is uh, mainly a single player ability i'm not sure though so uh moving on to the regular lords we have boyar i haven't um, heard this name mentioned by other um content creators but yeah that's interesting that these guys are the nobles so these guys are gonna be probably like uh, empire generals or uh, chaos lords uh, so that's gonna be interesting we don't have a lot of uh um, information on them um, it just says that that there are warriors we don't even know if they have uh, different variants with shields with two-handed weapon but i think they're mainly uh, melee lords so that's that they have war horse and war bear so nothing new there uh, we have our casters here so uh one of the interesting things about um uh, kislev is that they have two lords of magic they don't have access to the eight lords of uh, magic that empire has and um, the high elf has uh, they have their own lords of magic uh, one is the lord of ice the other is lord of tempest uh, so these guys are like uh, supreme sorceresses in dark elf roster uh, we already seen their lord of ice uh, in game we haven't seen lord of tempest yet but uh, the old uh, lord of ice uh, ice sheet aoe um slow debuff ice maiden kiss i think this is the spirit leech uh, like ability uh, that uh, i'm not sure if it's slowed but i remember it's uh, doing a lot of damage uh, frost blades uh, something like um and the uh, swords of Fl uh, flaming ruin if i'm not pushing its name but it gives a uh, frostbite and uh, some melee stats buff uh death frost uh, i think this is an um, wind blast ability but um causes frostbite as well crystal sanctuary really awesome ability it uh, stops your units from moving it uh stops them from moving but gives ward save so that's something really uh, i'm looking forward to using heart of winter i think that's the um 
new spell that has transformation effect it if you stay in it for a long time it's gonna increase uh, the its damage and slow so really scary stuff uh, looking forward to this as well the lore of tempest uh, which which speeds allies and sends enemies into swift death uh, hired from all sides by incredible wizard and biting call so this uh, this lore uh, has i think has access to frostbite as well because it says uh, it has uh, biting cold and stuff but gust of the true flight maybe gives um, speed uh, one of the swift thing i'm not sure about this maybe gives um, range attack buffs it's going to be interesting as well hailstone aoe attack biting wind another wind i'm not sure hug stuff uh, miska i think this is uh, gonna be a unit summon ability you summon some hawks that uh, maybe in uh, are in uh, wood elf roster maybe that's the ability we have blizzard as well so probably aoe ability so they have warhorse and warbear as well uh, the next caster that um um uh, oh my god kislev is gonna get is in the hero uh, spot the frost maiden these guys all also have access to uh, lords of uh, ice and tempest so nothing new there they have warhorse and warbear but uh, yeah these guys are sorceresses uh, to supreme sorceresses in darker frosters so yeah frost maiden to ice queens if i'm not mistaken ice witches so uh, another unit I'm really interested in uh, the Patriarchs. Uh, these guys have access to four ability selection as well. Uh, by the way, they looks uh, they look awesome as well. Look at that uh, mace. It's uh, they beat the <laughs> corn army with uh, castle maces. <laughs> so yeah, awesome, awesome. Again, warhorse or warbear. So let's uh, go into the unit section of this. Um, um, Russell reveal we have Kosars uh, these guys are like many other uh, Kislev units Kislevite units are dual purpose they have melee and range but the primary one is the it's one that makes them different I think they um, yeah it, it's uh, it's I think it's gonna be really important if there are mainly melee and have access to range or they're mainly range that have access to um melee so yeah these guys have bow and axe and bow and spear i don't think this is a two-handed axe so no arm piercing uh on these guys but the uh, bow and spear uh i i think are gonna be the strongest uh, one and th that's because uh, we already have units uh, that look like them the lotron sea guard with uh, spears they have charge defense against large and a lot of um armor piercing and uh usually you you're not gonna let enemy to move through your front line to get to the uh, to your range units usually the fast moving cab units are gonna um, try to outmaneuver you and get to your back line so always having spear is more important uh, in hybrid units we have Lothran Sigurd who usually gets uh, a lot of plays but uh, on the other hand we have Shades who don't have anti-large uh, and yeah that's we don't usually see them uh, a lot but yeah so these guys are the uh, I think the chaff who have access to range and uh, melee abilities so this is gonna be interesting and uh, it says that they're back backbone of the Kislevite army cheap and easy to build so yeah, you're gonna uh, see a lot of these guys uh, the, oh yeah by the way the Kislev's uh, faction ability is that if they lose um, part of their HP I'm not sure how much but they're gonna get uh, a huge leadership boost I think it's around 15 so that's gonna be really great uh, and yeah as I said <clears throat> they're gonna be hybrid and they're gonna be really awesome so Strel, Strel, Strelzi, Strelzi. So these guys are the one who have access to a long axe, who, which is also a long rifle. A really awesome looking unit, uh, awesome animations as well. So uh, these guys are uh, the 
I think they're mainly range, but uh, they have access to both um, melee armor piercing and uh, range armor piercing. The closest thing unit I uh, I can see to these guys that are currently in game is Shades. Uh, they don't see a lot of plays uh, the Shades because um, they're kind of expensive. They pay for a lot of things. They have Vanguard deployment. They have um, uh, stealth. Um, what's the name? Stock. Yeah, they have stock as well. Uh, their range is not that high, but I don't think uh, these guys have really long range as well. I think their range is going to be around um, 140. And uh, so, yeah, but um, yeah, they're going to be probably a lot cheaper than Shades. I, I think these guys will cost around uh, 750, 800. I'm not sure. And uh, they're going to be really awesome as well. So. Uh, it says that uh, they have their signature gun axe. Yeah, coolest. I agree. Um, oh, by the way, they are armored. So that's. I think these guys are going to be much more better than uh, shades. One of the reasons shades are not that uh, good is because they don't have a lot of armor. And yeah, so they're going to be awesome. Let's uh, go into another iconic uh, Kislevite unit, Ice Guard. So. These guys, uh, these girls, uh, are um, the elite units that have access to range and melee abilities. They're, they're going to be really good at both. They have decent range with their bows, which also causes frostbite and is magical damage. So they're going to kill demons uh, really good. Um, the uh, dual sword variant, uh, I'm not sure how good are, they're going to be. Uh, but because we already have shades with uh, dual weapon, we don't see them a lot. I don't think I, I think these guy uh, these um, ice queen ice guard uh, don't have a lot of armor. I think they have more armor than shades, so that's uh, going for them. Uh, they have higher range. They have frostbite. They're gonna be a nightmare in multiplayer, I think. Uh, and they have two options. First of all, they have glaives uh, which uh, makes them already a really good unit anti-large uh, uh, charge defense against large so that's um, really good they have armor piercing because uh, these things are glaives so that's another thing what else uh, the duels I'm, I'm thinking the bow and glaive variants are going to be r much better than their uh, dual sword variant but overall um, I think these guys are gonna be good. First of all, I think they have their, they have um, uh, what's oh my god, uh, they have immune to psychology, so that's really good. The frostbite is there, anti infantry, anti large. So yeah, these guys, these girls are gonna be great. Um, everything about them. Um, tells me that these guys are gonna be uh, great the dual sword variant are gonna be a, a cross between sisters of avalon and Sh uh, shades with uh, dual weapon uh, the bow and glaive variants are gonna be something between um, sisters of avalon and uh, lots of cigars so yeah that's that's gonna be awesome as well so uh, really looking forward to uh, using these guys uh, in battle and see how they do but yeah they look uh, they look awesome uh, they're gonna be probably really expensive though so uh, I don't know <laughs> so uh, we have some infantry here armored uh, Kosars the other ones weren't armor right uh, yeah these these are the cheapest kind I think these guys are mid-tier units they have a pistol an axe plus shield they have pistol and great maces so what unit uh, these guys uh, are uh, look alike right now uh, i'm not sure some um some players say that uh, hybrid hybrid units are not going to be good i uh, tend to agree but uh, there are some um some exceptions already in game Skink, uh, skinks with throwing javelins are uh, one of them. I think these guys are going to be a nightmare for <clears throat> any uh, melee units who don't have shield and that and can't beat them in melee. I mean, I think dark elves are going to have a hard time against these guys. Uh, witch elves, uh, sisters, 
even the armored variants don't have shields so these guys are gonna rip them to shreds before they can get into the fight and they're gonna hold for a long time they have a great mace uh, variant as well so uh, they, they can do uh, armor piercing damage so yeah but if you have units with, uh, which have access to shield and uh, are armored like chosen chaos warriors i think these guys are not gonna do well against them but yeah these guys look uh, look cool and their stuff looks uh, awesome as well yeah they have limited ammunition just like skink uh with javelin throwing javelins and uh, we know how good they are right they're they're awesome they're cheap and they're really good these guys are um armored as well so yeah so i'm not sure what's <laughs> what's this supposed to be uh so yeah uh, re uh these guys look uh, good as well so now for high tier uh, um infantry for kislev we have zargard so these guys have uh, sword and shield variant and great sword uh they remind me of um the norska high tier infantry uh chaos warriors okay i think they're, they're called champions so yeah uh norskan champions uh are the closest thing i see to these guys um it's it's uh, all about their armor and their price i think that makes them good or not uh, yeah we'll see their stats and their price so they have more yeah they're the most elite fighting force uh so that's that hardy difficult to kill so um yeah really uh looking uh close to um Norskan champions here armored uh, great swords into battle uh they're slower so yeah so we'll see uh, if their cost is the uh, oh, is um not that high and their stats are decent these guys are gonna be good as well so dervishes uh, i think they look like um elven fast cab units like dark riders and illyrian rivers they're gonna be fast i'm not sure if they're their speed is gonna be over 90 but uh we'll see it says that the uh well-bred and cared for horses they're gonna be fast for sure they they have uh, vanguard deployment uh, i'm not sure if they're th gonna get um range skirmish variant as well uh, but for now we're gonna say that they don't because uh, they haven't mentioned yet it says that they have hit and run but uh, i don't know uh, I don't think we have seen them in uh, in game as well. So, winged lancers, these guys, an iconic uh, Kislevite unit. Um, I think the devs compared them to Empire Knights, but they're gonna be faster and more uh, offensive. Um, as um, yeah, so that's that's okay. We'll see. I don't think uh, any of them ha gonna have uh, armor piercing. The uh, stronger variant of these uh, winged lancers are the griffin legion they're gonna have two wings um most power so they're gonna have they're gonna be a shock cap who are really strong looking forward to seeing these guys as well uh i think that these guys were compared to uh the what's uh, not the knights of the blazing sun the other one Rex guard yeah um so we'll see so these guys are not riding bears so i, I don't think they're gonna have armor piercing none of these guys but uh, now we get into the warbear warbear riders uh these guys um i'm not sure how fast they are but i don't think they're they're gonna be fast we'll see but they're for sure they're gonna have armor piercing and i don't see any variants here they're probably gonna have sh um, lance variants and shield and spear variants so probably both of them um, i'm not sure i don't know maybe they're gonna they're gonna be like uh, uh griefites uh in that they some of them might have shields some of them don't we'll see uh, <clears throat> now for the missile cavalry so horse archers uh, these guys um i think these guys uh, are not the same as the uh, dervishes i'm not sure um now um if they're not in the same group they're not uh, as talked about in the same variant so 
probably not so horse archers uh speed them i'm going to so they're they're kind of look like dervishes so that's uh okay they're gonna have some skirmish units uh, additional power from range attacks uh, means they're gonna have strong range i'm not sure they're decent at melee as well so yeah uh we'll see nothing special there we haven't seen these guys in uh in game as well now for the uh, chariots the war sleds here we have seen two variants the uh, light the light one which probably just is faster and the heavy war sleds let's see uh like chariots only with a number of angry men tied to the back of several bills uh, charging enemy so i think these guys are gonna be uh just uh, faster and cheaper with lower armor these guys um hit more heavy slow higher armor uh maybe the bears are stronger i'm not sure so for the monsters we have the snow le uh, leopard uh, or leopard probably leopard <laughs> so uh the devs talked about them a bit uh, they said that uh, single entity mon uh, units so they're not gonna be pack uh, they're gonna have anti-large which is interesting that's uh, not important extremely fast again like enemy that's fine so they're gonna be fast and anti-large probably armor piercing as well uh but having one model i don't know uh, are they like um hero characters probably uh, they look awesome though uh, their ornaments and stuff the elemental bear we already uh, saw in the uh, reveal trailer uh, they're armor piercing they're huge they're slow unbreakable uh, so yeah uh, interesting one uh, i'm not sure if they're gonna do anything special we can compare them to what um uh, dread saurian maybe i'm not sure but yeah i don't know i don't care about them a lot uh artillery little little grom so the only artillery kislev's uh kislev has is the the moving one which is interesting long range powerful it can fight in melee uh can we compare it to anything maybe the closest thing is uh, the empire war wagons they're really worse at melee um they have three models this one is one so i don't know so yeah it looks uh it's really interesting uh, the uh, kislev is not my fav favorite faction so i don't know but i really look for, uh, forward to new content uh, my favorite unit ice guard for sure uh, strelsi are also interesting patriarch uh, favorite hero Kosaltin, favorite legendary lord so yeah that's it for this uh, video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions um, please ask them in um, the comments if you if i missed anything as well please do remind me i'm gonna mention them in the uh, next videos for sure and i upload videos daily so stay tuned for that as well and um, i have a discord survey if you guys want to talk about videos builds and stuff you can uh, find me there so that's it. Uh, catch you all later. Bye.